Good morning! And welcome to video number 60 of me growing out my beard. Thank you. <laughs> Today I'm here with Tony G and once again we will be building some strange contraption that no one has ever thought of ever. The Roto Tom Tenors. Or Roto Tenors for short. But before we get into it, make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. I am currently the second most subscribed EMC channel, and when I become number one, I will make a very special video. Okay, let's get Roto! What is a Rototom, you might be asking? Well, they are basically like a tom-tom on the drum set, but there is no shell, and you adjust the pitch of the drum by spinning it around. And that causes the rim to push up and down on the head, which makes the pitch go up and down. Kind of similar to how a timpani works. Now, the Rototoms, they were pretty popular in rock bands in the 70s. You might recognize it from Pink Floyd's Time. But me and Tony G, we're bringing it back in 2022. So I bought a whole bunch of Rototoms for this project, and the goal is to set them up like tenor drums. And a normal set of tenors is set up with a 6, 10, 12, 13, and 14 inch drum, or if you're feeling frisky, you can add the 8 inch drum in there. Now the issue with this is that a 13 inch Rototom, this doesn't <clears throat> exist, at least I could not find one, alright, I searched everywhere. The Rototoms all have a 2 inch size difference, so we had to change it up a little bit. The most common Rototom sizes are 6, 8, and 10 inches. This set of 3 is usually what you'll find on a drum set if somebody has them, and I I was able to find these three drums on Facebook Marketplace for just $15. And these did not come with a stand or anything, but that's okay, because we're going to design our own hardware for this. Now, bigger size Rototoms, they're way less common than those three sizes. I was able to find a set of 12 and 14 inches, which cost $227. Yeah, it's uh, pretty expensive. And these came with a stand that has an aluminum mount, but we do not need that because we're trying to build the hardware out of all metal to make it easier to weld together. And these are the sizes we're going to go with, the 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, to make a set of quint tenor drums. Now there is a 16 inch Rototom that cost 500 bucks, uh, but we uh, decided to not. We're just gonna go with these five, it'll be fine. So we had to take a trip to the hardware store to buy a bunch of parts, because we're building our own custom frame for this entire drum set, and a normal tenor back bar, this is not gonna work on the Roto tenors, because we need each of these drums to be able to spin in order to tune them while marching, and it'll be super cool and no one's ever done this before. So Tony G's master plan for this is to buy two of these square bars with holes cut in them. That way the Rototom pegs, they can just fit right in the hole. We'll just give it the old pegging. We will attach the 6, the 12, and the 14 inch drums all into the back bar, and then on the front bar we're gonna have the 8 and the 10 inch drums. Then we will weld two pieces of solid square bars to attach the front and back bars. And we also need to create some kind of hook system for the back bar to attach into the harness. And we're gonna also try to keep this entire thing as lightweight as possible, because tenors are heavy. A normal set of tenor drums weighs around 35 pounds, and I think we can keep the Rototom lighter than that, but I guess we'll see. So we got all the materials for $88, bringing the project total to $330. Although I guess if you're counting the harness and the tenor stand, then the total is $915. Yeah, drums can get pretty expensive, but it's still way cheaper than most other instruments, so there is that. Alright, time to get to work. Step one is going to be mounting the back bar into the harness. <laughs> Yeah. 
connect. This is hard because the thing keeps coming undone. Okay. Hey, we don't need to have two spots. We can just tune the one. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Thank you want you. more drums? Yeah, I would like a few more, particularly in this area. Okay. <laughs> bad boys weigh a whopping 25 pounds exactly oh yes much lighter than actual tenor drums now let's see how they sound kind of fun. It's hard to spin and play. It's a lot of coordination. <laughs> Drums on a stand, this is how tenors were meant to be played. It's kind of hard, like, tuning them. Like, you have to really put some, <laughs> some strength into it. <laughs> song requests I can play anything <laughs> at least I should be able to Free bird. I don't know that one <laughs> <laughs> cool but it's not a scale or not a major scale all right we got tony g master of everything relative pitch don't say that. Good scares. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know what's about to happen. I need a six drum. We need to put an eight on. Hold on, wait, I'll help you out. Which 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 one should I tune for you? 
That's the second note I need. So here, and then this needs to be here. I'm, I'm looking at the, the pulse. <laughs> okay. We need a third guy back there to get this fuck drunk. Oh, that's hard. That's too hard. Yeah. I'll edit that whole thing together to make it look like you did it. Would this be considered like a duet or a trio if there was like two cool, extra guys just spinning? That would be thing? a really cool I and E. Someone's just playing and everyone else is just like tuning while they're playing. It's like a timpani but meant for multiple people. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of our wacky builds, you can check out the playlist. I will leave the link down in the description. And also make sure that you click that subscribe button, ring that liberty bell, and click that like button. Thank you to everyone who supports me on Patreon. If you are able to, please consider going over there to make a donation. It will help the channel out a whole lot. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning. morning.